So first of all, oh, there's another one joining. So another person who's joining. One more person I think is joining. So we're gonna put our hands together, up on our tippy toes, and all the way around. And ten palms, please, to wake up. Now big circles back. You can do them easily and then forward. Just do them easily, just allow your body to wake up slowly. And then one forward, one back, just to wake up your brain. And ten, and then back the other way. Then chickens, lift up your shoulders, lift down. Lift up your shoulders, lift down. And then big circles, try and meet your elbows in the middle. And then elbows high, all the way around. And then back the other way. So our shoulders are well and truly warmed up. Now up with the leg, out to the side and down. Up with the leg, knee high, to the side, and down. Up, knee high, to the side, and down. Now we are going to do up. Now grab your Swiss ball. Cool. 
Bàn bạn đây rồi And up time and tricep dips. And then master under your legs if you can. And then big figure of eight. And then back the other way. Now sit on the floor. Sit on the ball, feet off the ground, and if it's just one of you, you just catch the ball up and down, make it as hard as possible, or catch the cushion, throw your cushion up and down. If you've got a partner, you can throw the ball too. I'm winning this time. Yeah. I'm a bit concentrating in the morning. Find something behind or something to look at while you do it. So you can keep your arms. I have your balance point that you look at in the distance. Keep. And then throw high above yourself as well. I'll make it harder. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I still fell off that. <laughs> and one more go. Okay. Next. Next. Try and balance on the ball. On all four, on all fours first of all. Ready? Possibly. <laughs> I'm not coming up with buttons today. <laughs> and you'll find some days you just seem to not be as good as other days. Are you tired? Jesus. And then if you're just on your own, just throw your cushion up in the air if you can. Well, I'll answer. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the exact same thing you did tonight. Ah! Catch it. I'm not having a good balance today. Ready? This ball can also come the even. Considering it's been that all the same material, you feel 
And then try and do circles. Okay, and then circle the other way. Okay, now feet on the floor, and you're gonna imagine you're on a space hopper. So you're gonna jump with a ball. And grab and pull the ball out with you. And you can go round and back the other way. Well done, everybody. We wake it up. We all feel the weight now. Now, a flash on the ball. Nice flat backs. And then, once you're stable, Roll down and then we roll down. Okay, we start again. Straight arms, nice plank. Roll down without collapsing onto your forearms and then back on the knees. And then one more time. Nice plank and roll down and relax. Now on the right hand side, your hands play that wide, your elbow all the way to your elbow on the ball. Have the other hand to balance, and then you can have your feet slightly apart. And then you're ready, hand up. And then repeat on the other side. So again, hands nicely, fingers nicely splayed out. Use the other hand on the ball to balance so you can get up into position. Your hips are off the ball. And then when you're ready, hand in the air. Good. Now lie on your back with your shoulder blades on the ball. And relax. Use your glutes, clench your glutes to get your bottom high. And then when you're ready, put your right leg in the air for five. 
And then swap sides. Remember to have something to look at so you keep your balance. And nice deep breaths. Nice relaxed breaths. But still so using your glutes to keep your bottom high. Now just roll back on the ball and try to get your hands closer to the floor. As we've aged, your shoulders have got not as flexible. So if you can't get your hands carefully, don't get well all the way over to the floor, just aim them at the floor. If you're trying to practice doing a bridge, but with a ball of support under your back. And let your arms go over the back. And try and push your hands towards the floor. Deep breath still. In through your nose, allow your stomach to rise and fill. And then slowly roll back up. Hope you're not too dizzy. You all good? Now, sit on the mat. Put your feet, put your lower legs, heels on the ball. Prop yourself up with your arms. And then push your mat. And use your glutes to make the pelvis high. And if that's easy, then you can roll back and put your soles of your feet on the ball and then roll out again. And then if you can, one foot up, just for a second, and then the other foot up. Still same position, one foot in the air off the ball, even if it's for a second, and then the other. Left foot off the ball for a second, right foot off the ball for a second. And relax down. Now, legs like a slightly open pair of scissors on the ball. Elbow and forearm on the floor. You start off on your hip on the side. Use your other hand to push yourself up and come up. And if you feel balanced like that, you can then take the other arm off the ball, off the floor. Now swap sides. Again, feet like slightly open pair of scissors. Lie on the side, on your hip. Have your other hand splayed out. Your forearm, lower forearm on the floor. Other hand will help push yourself up, straighten out, and then if you can put the other, the upper arm in the air and relax down. Now go to a press up position, but put your toe up for your feet on the ball if you can. Balance in a press up position, but with the 
feet on the floor. And if you can, roll. Bring your knees towards your stomach. Just do it so you get warm, not, so you're not trying to feel the burn. You're just concentrating on keeping your balance. And then relax down. Well done, everyone. Properly working up there. Now we lose our balls and we all kneel down. We'll then put our hands flat on the floor with our fingers facing our toes. And then lift our bottoms and look up at the, at the ceiling and breathe. And then come up to kneeling high. Use your glutes. But don't make a straight back and straight legs. Then you're just going to drag your foot along the mat until you need what the right knee's high. Then allow your foot to drag along the mat to take the right knee back down onto the floor. And then repeat with the left. Nice and controlled, slow movements. And you don't want to lift that to the side, it's just keeping it in a straight line. This is a really good exercise for cyclists and runners to make sure they're using all their hip flexors correctly. injuries who are having problems, they can no longer do this. It might feel easy for you, but people who have pelvis problems, they can't actually do this. So it's good to keep practicing. Now on to all fours. Hands on the floor, knees on the floor. Now right leg, I mean sorry, right arm and left leg, or you can do the opposite, high in the air. And hold for five breaths. And swap. Right leg, left arm. Eye in the air, five breaths. And swap. And swap. Now on your side, hands splay down, fingers splay down, and on the mat, feet long, arm up, and then foot up, and down. Five times. And then swap sides. Again, make sure your hands, fingers, and muscles display that to help you balance. 
One, two, three, four, five. Then on your back, feet on the floor, hands on the floor behind you, and come up. One leg in the air for five. Other leg, leg in the air for five breaths. And go back to the first leg. And then the last leg again. And now walk like this, back and forth, trying to keep the pelvis light. And then you can walk like a crab, sideways, and then back again. And relax. And come back to a sitting position with your soles of your feet together and make sure you've got a nice straight back. Knees feet, push yourself up and make sure you've got a nice straight back. And then we're going to do butterflies. Just move your knees up and down, keeping your back straight. Now we leave one heel into the groin, have the other knee high, and put the opposite elbow around the back of the high knee. Use your other hand to help yourself look behind you. Keeping both sit bones on the floor. Now swap sides, so the opposite heel into the groin, the other knee high, the opposite elbow around the back of that knee, and then help yourself push around and look behind to the other side. Again, keeping those sit bones firmly on the floor. And keep breathing. You'll find the breathing helps you move further out and she breathes out. Now put your legs out wide and go over your toes. If you can't cut, touch your toes, slightly bend your knees so you can get to your toes. And then once you've got to your toes, you can slightly ease out just to get a really good stretch. And again, breathe. And as you breathe out, you'll feel yourself relax and go a little bit deeper into the stretch, but don't force it. Just as you breathe, you'll find it naturally happens. Now, we'll touch one toe and the other arm go around the back and then touch the other toe. And try and keep both sit bones on the mat.
And now, go to your right, both hands on your right. Again, if you need to bend your knee, because you can't reach, bend your knee, grab your toes, and then slowly, if you can, knees, the legs straight. Doesn't matter if you can't quite get it straight. And now go to the other foot. Again, if you're having difficulty, bend the knee first, grab hold, and then just slowly straighten your leg as much as you can. Julia Scott, May and Maddie. Meg the cat and Maddie, her daughter, helping her today. Now stretch yourself up, make yourself as tall as possible. Now bring your feet in and grab hold of your feet. And you're balancing on your bum. Now straighten the legs. Slowly out, we'll remain balanced. Without, if you can, rolling backwards. That's what happens quite often. He might just roll backwards. He's not having a good day today. Are you in a... My... Shoulders still. Play. It's really fun. Now come back to the centre. Still balanced. And then, right leg out only. And if you haven't quite, it doesn't matter, I'm not that flexible, so my knee is just slightly bent. That's okay. And then back to the center. And then left leg straight. Or as straight as you can go. We've got a, a cat here that wants to come in and join us as well. Feet together and then both again. Both out, bye. Well done, everyone. And relax down. And just move your arms, stretch to that, and switch your back up high again. And now I'll turn around, but you can stay looking. Reach the one arm, the one hand to reach the other hand around the back. And keep breathing. And then swap sides. Usually find one side is much better than the other. This is my bad side. I have to work to even touch. But I used to be inches away. The fact that I can now work and touch is a huge improvement. This will help everyone swim better. your feet and stand with your feet a bit over a meter apart. Clasp your hands like this behind you and just lean over again. And look at the floor a bit in front of you. Find a spot on the floor a bit in front of you and stare at that. And breathe. 
And every time you breathe out, you'll find yourself getting a little bit closer to that spot. And just let your arms slowly come higher over your head. And keep breathing, deeply in and out through your nose. And then come back up. And then keep with straight legs. Put one arm in the air and one arm down the side of the opposite leg. And then look at your high point. Now bend the knee, put the same elbow, same side elbow on the knee, and again, look at the thumb. Now move the foot around in that direction. If you need to bring the other foot out a little bit for balance, Again, bend that front knee. This time, put the opposite elbow onto the knee. Make a prayer gesture, and then bring round, turn round, face the back wall. Bring the prayer gesture to your chest, and look high up on the back wall behind you. And then come back to the centre, bring your feet facing forward. And lean over on the other side and look at your heart done. Bend the knee, use the same elbow on that knee. And again, look at the high thumb. Now move the foot out in this direction. If you need to bring that other foot a little bit round to balance, use the opposite elbow on the bent knee, make a prayer gesture. Look round behind you, try to bring the prayer gesture into your chest and look high on the wall behind you. Now come up, bring your back foot round, so both of your feet are facing the same direction. Bend that front knee and make sure the knee's over the foot. And then hands in the air. And after five breaths, Bring your hands level with your shoulders, front and back. And relax and swap sides. So feet both in the same direction. Bend that front knee, 
to 90 degrees. The knee should be just over the foot, not in front. And then five if you need a balance point. And arms high in the air and breathe. And if you're flexible enough, you can bring your hands together. But if you're not so flexible, just try and get them straight up in the air. And then arms forward and back, trying to keep them as level as possible. Again, finding a balance point to look at so you can keep your balance. And relax. Now go to the top of your mat. And we'll just do a few sun salutations. Stretch up. Relax down to your feet. You can't touch the floor. You can bend your knees. Put your right foot back behind you. Then bring your left foot into a plank. Knees, chest, chin on the mat. Push forward into a cobra. Put your toes in the mat. Push up into the downward facing dog or montagna. Bring up your feet. You can have bent knees if you want. The best thing is to get as flat to the back as possible. And breathe. Now bring your right leg and try and put your foot between your palms. Bring your left foot forward to meet your right foot. And stretch up. And relax down. Stretch up. Down to your feet. This time left foot back. Right foot back, knees, chest, chin on the mat, and push forward into a cobra. Try and get your shoulders down. Toes into the mat, bum in the air into a downward facing dog. Bring your feet forward, slightly bent knees so you can get as flat as that as possible. Left foot forward. Right foot to make left foot. Stretch up and relax down. Go again, stretch up. Relax down to the mat. Right foot back. Left foot back into a plank, knees, chest, chin. Push forward into a cobra. Toes in the mat, into a downward facing dog, bum in the air, as flat a back as possible, and breathe. Right foot forward, between the parts of your hands if you can. Left foot forward, stretch up and relax down. Stretch up, now breathe out as you go down. Breathe in as your right foot goes back. Left foot back. Chest, chin, breathe out, breathe in, and breathe. Five breaths.
Right foot in between the palms. Left foot to meet right foot. Stretch up and relax down. Breathe in, stretch up. Breathe out, relax down. Breathe in, left foot back. Breathe out, right foot back. Then knees, chest, chin on the mat, breathe. Up into a cobra. And toes from the ground, then to the montagna. And breathe. Left foot forward. Right foot to make left foot. And stretch up. And relax down. Well done, everyone. That was hard work. Now we're going to have some fun. Lie down. And breathe. Now we're going to come up. Putting our hands around our waist to help prop us up. And with our toes high, legs straight and toes above the eyes. Now one leg forward, one leg back. And then the opposite, the other leg forward, and the opposite back. Bring your knees towards your chin. Don't hurt your neck. If your neck's painful, don't do this. Up high again, straighten your legs all the way up. High with your toes above your eyes, and then put your soles of your feet together and bend your knees down. Now, legs wide. Straight and wide, and then spin. If you can spin them, little circles. Back one way, and then the other way. And then straight up, and then roll. Carefully down. All good. Now lie on your front. You can like come here, please, with the ball. If you have a friend, you know, on the mat, drop the cat. We've got cat helping us as well. We just know we're just using this book. She's really cold. Yeah. Lie on the mat. And if you haven't got a friend, you can just lift up each time like this. If you've got a friend, you lift up and you pass. Ten times. Okay, come back up and then sit. Up. 
Perfect, me. And again, if you haven't got a friend to help you with the ball, if you've got Maddie, she can take the ball off you. Otherwise, you go back, lie down, come up, grab the ball with your feet, and then at straighten out, and then you go again. If you've got a friend, you pass the ball to them, all the way back and straight to them. Thank you. And then go again. Thank you. And again, do go for the burn. Just go for if you're warm, then stop at that point. Here you go. Here you go, Thank you. Okay, and relax. Okay, enough. Now we've got a ball, a little ball, you can sit on it. And then you can balance on it. If you haven't got a little ball, you can just use the big ball. And you're just going to balance on it again. So you're trying to balance on it, feet out to the front. But it's going to be really hard on the big ball. With your legs straight. Hard, yeah? Now pass and stand in a frog position. And then, depending on how much energy you've got, you can just, just move or you can jump. And now relax down on the mat, on your back. Bring your knee towards you, towards your chest. Then straighten your leg. Keeping the other leg flat on the floor. And then bring your heel into your groin and put the other hand around the back of the knee and breathe.
Now straighten the leg and then put it over the side of your body. And then put your arms the other way and look the opposite way to your leg. And breathe and relax. Come back to the center, lying on the mat. Bring the opposite knee up to your chest. Now straighten the leg up, grab right behind the calf if you can. Keeping the other leg flat on the floor. And breathe. Now bring the heel into the groin and then pull the outside knee with the other hand towards your chest. Concentrating on breathing deeply. Feeling your stomach rise as you breathe in. And then go back down as you breathe out. Straighten the leg, put it over the other side of the body, look the other way, putting the arms the other way to your leg. And again, breathe. And again, you'll feel when you exhale, you become a bit more flexible. Low back on the mat, palms facing the ceiling. And then just do a few snow angels. And then relax again with your hands on the mat next to you. Breathe in and out. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Letting everything relax. Breathe in. Even your chest rises, your stomach rises, everything rises as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, everything drops and relaxes. Breathe in. And breathe out. And well done. Namaste.